Hey guys, today I want to share with you some advice on how to take care of your new animal. At least, how to take care of them during the first week of transition to their new home. Hi, I'm TC Houston, former zookeeper and lifelong reptile enthusiast. And you're watching my channel called Reptile Mountain TV, a place where I can share evidence-based practices, keeping and breeding, blue tongue skinks, and a few others just for fun. Well guys, if you're getting an animal from me, then your animal is gonna be coming um, from this type of setup right here, which is behind me. And I'll show you a little close up, it should be coming up right now, where they're gonna be coming from about a shoebox size tub, they're gonna be on cypress mulch, and they're gonna be fed on a paper plate with a quarter size, um, it's been cut into quarters. So these things, knowing what the animal is used to is very in, uh, important. So, and if they're coming from another breeder, I'm, I'm not sure how other breeders keep their animals, but I do know that many breeders keep their animals just like this, maybe not with this exact setup, but similar with a, in a tub system um, where they've got either they're on paper towel or they might even be on cypress mulch or some other um, type of substrate. They've got a water bowl and they have a feeding regimen. They also have a type of food that the animal has been eating. Those things are in, uh, important to know because that first day is a big day for that little animal. That little animal is coming either being driven home and carried home by you or they've gone overnight in the mail, which is pretty traumatic for a little baby overnight. And so they're not going to want to just, you know, pop out of the box and be like, hi, new owner, let's have a chat, let's go out to dinner, let's go have a good time. Nope, that's not how it works. They are going to be a little traumatized, so give them some space. Knowing what they've come from is important because you can replicate that and then slowly introduce them to their new environment or introduce them to um, what you want to keep them in. Because some folks, hey, you want, you've got a 40-gallon tank or something cool and you want to move them into that. And you can do that right off the bat. Just know that the entire new, they're, they are in a new world, an entirely new world. And if you've changed the diet, if you're feeding them something different, it's not only a new world, it's new food. Um, could you imagine what it's like if you were just plucked um, out of your living environment and put into an entirely new environment with a new drinking uh, place for water, a new hide spot, a new you know new bed, new everything is new, and new people that you're not used to seeing. So that can be pretty um, stressful. Now it's not going to be uh, horrible but we have to give them some space and time. So one, knowing a little bit about where they came from. So if you want to replicate it and then slowly introduce new things, that's a good idea. I recommend feeding them the way that the breeder fed them. I would recommend feeding them what the breeder fed them and then slowly introducing a new diet so that you don't overwhelm them with everything being new. Also, I would not handle your new animal. I know they're amazing. And you you can watch my Stimson's Python uh, unboxing, which I'll put, I'll put the thing up here, um, the link. I love getting new animals. Um, it's exciting, and I get it. Giving them space for a week is really important. Notice that these babies that are brand new have visual barrier blocked off because they need to get used to their environment before they get used to their environment and the outside of what their environment is. I recommend blocking off um, visually the the enclosure that you're bringing your animal in, into for the first week so that all they have to get used to is their space not their space and your space that way you're slowly introducing them into their new environment so block that off if you can also a good idea is um, to try and not peek in at them all the time I mean the last thing you want to do is this hello are you in there and every few minutes checking in on them could actually stress them. So actually bring them in, give them some space. Now you can covertly look at them. See, I will come in and I will just peek around the corner and through those little cracks there and they don't actually see me as opposed to pulling this back and going, hello, you know, that kind of thing might be a little stressful for them and it might overwhelm them. 
Um, so slow integrate um, introduction for that first week. Whatever, even if it's not a baby, an adult, they need that adjustment period. Um, you may or may not have them eat the first day. Now, I recommend if you're getting an animal from me, go ahead and try and feed them, but don't, um, don't worry if they don't because I'm gonna have my babies fast. They're not gonna get to eat the day before they leave because I don't want them pooping in their bag and then wallowing in it, it's just not sanitary. So if I can have them fast for a day so that they're not full of poop when they go shipping, um, that's a little bit better. So when they come home, they might be hungry. But blocking off visually, giving them some space, and then monitoring them, but kind of covertly, not right in your face. Those are some good tips for the first week when you bring your brand new animal into your home. So, hey, thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions, um, please just write them in the comments, uh, send me an email, check out my website, um, more available babies are coming, so um, always check out my website, and you can also subscribe to get notifications on new babies. So, thanks so much, and I'll catch you on another episode.